So, you got any plans for Christmas? Nick, we've only just got into December. Why would I be thinking about Christmas now? Alright, sorry I asked. So you should be. Just thought you might be spending it with your brother or your dad. Are you having a laugh? They're the last people I want to spend Christmas with. No, this year's going to be great. You're going to your parents' house and David's having a few days off. I'm just going to chill out in peace and watch the Boxing Day football. That sounds so lonely. Yeah, well, to me it's bliss. I hate Christmas. It's just an overpriced commercial gimp. It's Christmas! What the hell have you done to my apartment? Uh, I decorated it for you, Mr. Des, because it's nearly Christmas. Well, I don't like it. Take it down. Des, be nice. He's been working hard on this all morning. Oh, so you knew about this, did ya? Of course I did. He asked me if he could do it and surprise ya. Oh, well, look. Surprised! Now take it down. David, leave it up. I think you've done a great job. Uh, thank you, Nick. Stupid bloody Christmas crap. David! Yeah? You need to start taking all this crap down. Why? Oh, I don't know. Let me see if I can think of a reason. Um. Oh yeah, because it's my bloody apartment! Oh, stop being a Grinch. Okay, I'll stop being a Grinch. But until these decorations are taken down, I'm not paying you any wages. Uh, why not? Because I'm going to use your wages to put aside for the bloody electricity bill. Uh, okay. I will take it all down. What's your problem? You suck the joy out of everything. What is there to be joyous about? Well, it's Christmas time. You know, bright lights, presents, family, and all of that. Would you like to know what I think about Christmas this year? Not really, no, but you're going to tell me anyway. Well, if it's not bad enough that this is the first Christmas that I left since my mum died, but my girlfriend's not even going to be here. She's going to visit her parents, which is great, but when I suggested tagging along, she said no, because they don't know about me. But you still have family, Mr. Daz. Yeah, that's true, but there's one problem there. My dad probably doesn't remember a single Christmas since I was born because he's always drunk on Christmas Day and my brother still won't speak to me because he didn't get anything from the will when my mum died. Well, come with me to my parents then. No, I'm good. I'm just going to stay here, watch football and get this crappy holiday over and done with. So David, get all this crap down. Okay. I don't understand the fascination with Christmas. They portray it so nicely in the films with big family get-togethers and all the Christmas cheer. The reality is so much different now. Growing up, my Christmases were always the same. I wouldn't see my mum because she'd be slaving away in the kitchen all day and tidying up while my dad would usually be conked out on the sofa by midday because he never knew the meaning of don't drink. Then my brother would be off on one because he didn't get what he wanted for Christmas, so by the end of the day my mum was knackered, my brother was sulking in the corner and my dad was passed out. And that's how Christmas has always been for me. I always made the effort because of my mum, but she's gone now, so I don't have to worry about this poxy holiday. Nick leaves tonight to go to his parents and I've given David a few weeks off so I will see you in the new year once this crappy year is over. David! I thought I told you to take these bloody decorations down! What the hell? Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way Oh what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh Hey! What are you guys still doing here? We wasn't going to leave you alone for Christmas. But you both had plans. And now them plans have changed, so we're going to spend Christmas with you. Don't know what to say. You don't have to say nothing. We've got a few weeks off now, so what do you want to do? Watch football. Seriously? <laughs>